is going on guys welcome back to the channel and for this video i wanted to give you guys a first look at otron now that this guy finally got a rework and i gotta say i'm very impressed with otron's new kit as you guys can see right here i'm using him in the otron prime uniform and this right here is one of my favorite looks for the character i have all of the uniforms for him and they all provide some advantage to having them as you guys can see right here I got all of these when they're on sale for one gold. I believe they're always on sale for 500,000 gold, which is a very good deal, especially since this essentially gives you three decent uniforms okay it gives him 10 percent increase to all attack and all defense and on top of that when you're up against specific types of enemies you get an advantage as well as you guys can see right here this one that i always have on it gives him an increase to his damage when he's up against blast types i always keep this on simply because the blast characters in the game are the strongest for the most part you have freaking dr strange you have gene gray you have cable so yeah I keep this on, not that Ultron is going to ever be like on par with those characters, because let's be honest, Ultron was released almost three years ago. Can't really expect a character that was three years old to be keeping up with a character that's fresh in the game right now. That's like me saying I want my freaking iPhone 5 or my Nokia from all the way back in the day with the green freaking screen to be keeping up with my iPhone 8 Plus. Nah, not gonna happen, okay? Um, sad about that, but at the same time, it makes sense. Power creep is a real thing. It happens. It happens in every game, and Marvel Future Fight is no different. Hopefully, though, Ultron gets another look because he does have a lot of those in the comics, and it actually propels him to the forefront of the game one day. But for now, I want to enjoy Ultron as he is. If you guys don't have all three uniforms, now would be a good time to invest in them because Ultron, he's decent now. He's decent. He's not top tier, but he's a solid B tier in my opinion. Okay, so this is the uniform that I rock for him the majority of the time. But you will see different gameplay videos of me using different uniforms. So keep a lookout for that. I also really appreciate this one. I think it looks really cool, but I genuinely just keep this one equipped. Anyway, this is not about the uniforms because the base kit is identical to the uniform. It just gives him an additional increase to his range and stuff like that to have the uniform on definitely better to play him with the uniform on than off but even so without the uniform he can definitely still do a lot of the same things if not all of the same things okay so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take him into shadowland and i'm gonna put him up against one of the stages that i always used to try so many times to try and get this guy to solo and he could not do it prior to this rework i couldn't do anything with ultron i would struggle to get myself a world boss win and because of how many times i died and because of how hard it was to do i just never even bothered with it it was just too annoying however now he's actually in a really good place and he can actually comfortably give you a win against a world boss on top of that he can solo shadowland floors and he's actually able to compete in normal ab i wouldn't put him in abx but i would definitely say if you're new to the game and you're struggling in um, normal AB, Ultron can help you there. I might actually record a gameplay video of him in normal AB simply because no one really does that for Ultron. So I want to actually show him some love there, even though a lot of you guys will probably never use him there too many other options, too many better options, but still it's nice to see what the tin can can do now. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the details and then we can jump into some actual gameplay, guys. So take a look at the build. This is the exact same build that I've always had for my Ultron. Nothing has changed since the rework and I don't plan to change anything on him just yet. I want to actually push this guy as far as I can using the old build that I have had for him for over, what, two years now? So yeah. Take a look at this guys, 109 for attack speed. It's on the lower side, but because of his new four skill that gives him 15% increase to attack speed, rather all speed, I don't plan to increase this any further unless I change my cards and it just automatically gives me more. I don't plan to give him any more attack speed fine as is we have 47 percent for crit rate which is decent 166 for critical damage also decent but ideally you want to get those as high as possible because otron's base damage is not very high 
okay higher crit damage higher crit rate definitely will play a role here as you guys can see right here we have ignore defense that's maxed out and we have a reduced cooldown duration also max out i would ideally recommend that you max out reduce cooldown duration that way you can completely abuse the clones and the new guard that he has on the four skill okay that's one of my new strategies my new ways of using ultron and you guys will see for yourself as you guys can see all the gears are at 20 and who knows i might actually tier two this guy especially since he is now half the cost since he's a story mission character might actually tier two him because i believe i have enough bios for him you know so who knows maybe in a little bit i'll tier two ultron and show you guys just how he performs but for now we're gonna keep him as is the last gear slot right here is rule for crit damage and the reason why it's not rule for skill cooldown like the majority of my other characters is because he's running hawk's eye not the ideal ISO set for Ultron. You actually want to have either overdrive, binary power, or drastic density if you're going on the defensive route with him. You don't want Hawk's Eye unless you have really bad cards and you don't have a lot of skill cooldown. However, this right here has been on my Ultron for over two years and I never bothered to reroll it simply because rerolling this would have done nothing for me. He still would have been absolutely useless to me so i never bothered it was a waste of gold however if he ever gets another uniform and it propels him even further in the game i will definitely re-roll this the overdrive and then change this slot right here to skill cooldown to max up my skill cooldown that way okay so keep that in mind guys as for the skills you guys can see for yourself everything is at six and the rotation that I currently use for Ultron looks something like this. I'm not saying this is the best rotation or anything like that. It's a new rotation. I'm still playing with it. But I always start with a 5 skill just to get the summons out. Then use the 4 skill because the buff from the 4 skill will actually apply to the clones. So if you, sum if you use the 4 skill first and then buff yourself and then summon the clones, they don't get the guard, they don't get the attack increase, and they don't get the all speed and all defense and that stuff so it's probably not a good idea to protect yourself and then summon your clones okay generally that's what you would do for most people someone like loki and others you usually you would do that but for me what i found to be the best way of playing ultron for me okay the best way for me may not be for you is to actually summon them first, especially since they only get 40% of Ultron stats. The more you can increase their stats, the better, okay? So definitely start with the five, then the four, then it's up to you if you wanna go something like three, one, two. That's generally what I do, but I'll mix it up here and there. But one thing for sure is I'll always use the five skill off cooldown followed by the four as soon as possible because they die pretty easy and they don't do that much damage. So they definitely could use this buff right here. Okay, so that's my rotation for him. And as for this obelisk right here, for now, it's good enough. I have a little bit too much ignore defense because of this, but we're gonna leave it for now, see how Ultron performs, and then we'll play with it later. But ideally, I'm gonna go for something like double crit rate, double crit damage, or crit damage, crit rate, and invincibility. I don't need the ignore defense. I only have about, I would say, eight or 9% that I actually need. So this 20 is wasted. However, since it's a 4% invincibility proc, I decided to leave it for now because invincibility is definitely something that I want on my Ultron. I could also go for something like max HP, crit damage or crit rate, and then invincibility because his survivability, especially the minions, are not that good. Something like, let me see if I have one. This would be decent because that would give me just enough um, ignore defense. Well, a little bit more than I need. And the crit damage would have been nice. I could ideally swap that out. This right here would give me, actually, no, I'd have too much crit damage if I put this on. But it's actually a pretty decent one for someone you're building defensively. Anyways, I don't want to waste your time here, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Shadowland and have a little bit of fun with the Tin Can Man. Yeah, Tin Can Man. We're going to go up against this relay right here, man. Something that I always used to try and beat with this guy. And he would just die and make me so sad. But Ultron, your day has come, my friend. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's have some fun with Ultron. Okay, I was about to say where the rest of my guys were. 
because then they all just spawn on top of each other and are they pulling aggro right now i i just can't tell guys yeah i i just couldn't tell right there i think they're just doing a really good job cc'ing these guys get out of here ghost rider Range on the three could be a little bit better. I won't lie. But thank the, thank the Lord, it is an iframe. Ha, huh, Ronan, what are you doing, bro? Getting, <laughs> getting CC'd, bro. You were the master of CC. But my Ultron, though. What, what are you saying, bro? What are you saying, bro? My Ultron is locking you down, bro. My Ultron. Ooh, you got, a, you got a hit off, eh? Nah, you didn't get a hit off, bro. That's an Ultron flawless, bro. That guard, though. Anyways, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Look at the ease in which Ultron just did that. That's crazy. That rework, man. That rework. Granted, it still took over a minute for him to do. The DPS was not the greatest, but my build is not the greatest. So I'm very happy with Ultron in this new form. It's really, really happy about that, guys. I can't wait to test him out a little bit further in Shadowlands. See just how far I can push this guy. Something like a rumble, something like a wave mode. Something like one of those really annoying villain stages that have MODOK in it to see just how well he performs. Stay tuned guys, more Ultron videos coming really really soon. That's all for this one. Like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love. Oh, Ultron baby. We in business boy. Alright.